Hey guys, I'm just Jalapeno here with another episode of Jalapeno Drywall. And on today's project, I'm going to show you how to repair minor water damage on your drywall. First thing you're going to want to do is, you already know, plastic, plastic, plastic. This way you keep everything nice and clean, especially here in the pantry room. And I'm just going to grab my 10 inch and scrape off the loose paint. The homeowners have a bathroom upstairs, but what happened was that the kids were splashing a little too much water out of the bathtub and it just caused a little bit of water damage. So just make sure you scrape all that loose paint. And I'm also going to remove this paper tape because it's not adhering to the wall anymore. If you just apply drywall mud over that loose tape, it's going to bubble up and you do not want that. Also, as you saw there, I did cut the tape a little bit with my blade. That way I don't pull more than I need to. I'm only removing that tape where the water loosened it up. And after you're done removing all that, I like to add a couple more screws to strengthen that drywall up against that stud or the eye joist. And to find the studs, you could always use the knock on the wall method. But if you want to just simplify stuff, just get a stud finder. And once you find the stud, put a couple screws. Just make sure you don't go too deep in with your screws. You want to go about uh, 30 second or just a little dimple. And now the next step is to apply the hot mud. If you're new to using that Easy Sand 5, I recommend you get the Easy Sand 20 or the Easy Sand 45. It'll give you a little bit more time before it starts getting too hard. You can also just use regular joint compound. It'll just take a little bit longer to finish the project compared to this Easy Sand 5. So as you saw there, I applied the hot mud and then I put my paper tape on the corner. Just make sure that when you're wiping with your putty knife that you don't push too hard on that paper tape because you don't want to take all the hot mud from behind the paper tape because it's not going to adhere to the wall, if that makes any sense. And now as you saw there, I applied hot mud over the paper tape to cover it. And then you'll also want to feel where all the screws were at. And I only recommend to approach this repair like this only when it's minor water damage. Obviously, if it's major water damage, then you would obviously remove the drywall and all that. But like I said, it was super minor. And now I'm just going to use my 12 inch to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And as you can see, I'm not leaving too much mud on the drywall. That way it's not going to be bumpy and I don't have to do a lot of sanding. I am going to come back tomorrow to paint. But before I leave, I'm going to caulk the corner. That way when I come tomorrow and everything things nice and dry it's gonna be a nice corner there like and comment if you want to see part two of me painting this repair oh and if you want to get any of the tools or materials i use here for these projects go to the link in my bio my amazon storefront and click on drywall repair essentials and that's pretty much it for today jalapeno solutions boom